drilling, countersinking and thread cutting with the MAB 1300, a magnetic core drilling machine from BDS. In the following we explain the application of our magnetic core drilling machine MAB 1300. The core drill together with the ejector pin is inserted into the director arbor and fixed by means of two clamping screws. For tools with 90mm, Weldon shank, a bushing from Weldon 32 to Weldon 19 is available. First you set the desired speed by means of the two gear switches at the side. The switch position needed can be seen from the chart on the motor. The red adjusting wheel is used for torque control and is, in normal case, always set to maximum. Get the machine into the drilling position and switch the magnet on. After the motor has been started, fine-tuning of the speed is made by means of the blue adjusting wheel. Please do not forget to open the stopcock at the side of the coolant reservoir. In the first phase the cutting pressure on the core drill is reduced. Pressure is increased only after the tool has 1 to 2 mm of the material. In the case of greater material thickness, for example 50 mm and more, it is recommended to break the chip and to ventilate the tool at regular intervals. Always pay attention to proper chip removal and consistent lubrication and cooling. Nests of chips should be removed from the tool if necessary. Another recommendation. Cabot tools are cooled with cooling lubricant BDS 6000. HSS core drills are lubricated with cutting oil BDS 5000, lubrication spray BDS 5200 or cutting paste BDS 5500. After drilling chips must be removed. For doing so we recommend using our power worker POW100. But be careful, there is a high risk of injury and you have to wear protective gloves. Also the drilling core should be treated with caution. The core becomes very hot due to the cutting process. Furthermore we will show you how to insert twist drills, countersinks and taps. Since we have to use tools and tool holders with Morse paper, we have to remove the steady first. For doing so, loosen both clamping screws. Then, using a drift key, you drive the spindle out and remove the entire block. Now tools with Morse paper can be inserted. Always take care that the tool shanks are clean and clean the inside taper at regular intervals. At the gear and at the speed governor you now set the specified speed. All the tools described in the following must be manually cooled and lubricated with lubrication spray or drilling emulsion. When doing so, please follow all safety instructions. For tool change, setting the speed and inserting the next tool, you always apply the same procedure.
For tapping, BDS offers various holder systems. Here you see a basic holder with MK4 taper used with a quick change insert for making through hole threads. The handling of the machine is the same in case of other tool holders. Both parts are now inserted into the basic holder. First push the outer sleeve upwards and then insert the quick change insert together with the tap. Rotate it so that the catch mechanism snaps into the proper position. Tapping is made at low speed. Consistently move the machine slide downward after the tap has been sprayed with lubricant spray. The tap automatically draws itself into the material and you just have to follow with the machine slide by applying light pressure. Check if the tap has reached the required cutting length. If so, change to counterclockwise rotation and immediately remove the tap from the tap point by moving the machine slide upwards. By doing so, damage to the thread is prevented. Done. Tool and holder are removed in reverse order. Finally, we want to show you how to install the steady again. First, if not done already, remove the core drill. Insert the steady together with the spindle into the inside taper. Move the machine slide down until the bracket comes into contact with the magnet and attach the entire unit again by means of the two clamping screws. We thank you for your attention and wish you a successful work with the BDS MAB 1300.